Great. Well, I'm Anthony Spazali, executive chef of the Omni Royal Orleans Hotel, the Rib Room Restaurant. Today we are going to feature an item off of our Revion menu, which is spit roasted duckling with braised red cabbage. This is a traditional holiday style Christmas dish that is featured on our Revion menu that's going to go run all the way now through Christmas Eve. Um, it's a wonderful dish. Revion is a, is a history, a historic dinner that um, old school Creoles coming out of France would come and have this great feast after midnight mass. Um, and it, it, it came into New Orleans and it's, uh, it's a great dinner that a lot of hotel restaurants, restaurants in the, in the city will be offering through, uh, through the year, through the holiday season. I'm going to get started. What I have is uh, a maple leaf farm, about a two to three pound duckling that I am going to season up very well by taking some onions, apples, some bay leaf, which I have in here already, and some rosemary sprigs and some garlic. It's all in this mixture here, and I'm gonna season with some salt and pepper. Orange I'm going to use for a flavoring on top of the duck. So I'm going to we can cut the orange in half. We're going to squirt it all over the duck. Kind of get a little marination working here. Okay, and then we're going to add it in here. All right. We're going to mix all this mixture together. And we're going to stuff a little bit of all this items into the cavity of the duck, which is going to release some moisture as we cook in the duck. and it's going to flavor it from the inside going out. Duck nice and um, tight. We're going to tie his legs up just a little bit. Just to kind of keep his breast and his leg and all with a tight presentation when you, uh, when you debone him off to put him on a plate. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cook this duck on our rotisserie for, uh, for service. And also I'm going to um, touch briefly on roasting this duck in the oven. So we're gonna do two preparations of the duck today. We're gonna put a little olive oil on top of the duck just to start him cooking. We've already got the orange juice on top of it. All right, we're gonna take some rosemary sprigs, some thyme sprigs. Nice little chop, and we're gonna put the herbs on the duck itself. And remember, there's herbs in the inside also, so we're gonna get some good flavoring off of this. All right, a little salt, which I'm using kosher salt. Some fresh black pepper. All right. Rub it all in there and make it all nice. For home use, I have a sheet tray with a rack. It's nice to keep the rack when roasting a duck because the fat's gonna run out of it and then you have the fat to kind of baste the duck along as you go. But if you're cooking this at home and don't have the luxury of having a rotisserie, you just place the duck on the, uh, on the rack, you put it in a 350 degree oven, you start it off at that temperature for about an hour. It's gonna get a beautiful crust on the duck and then you drop it down to 300 and you finish it off for another 45 minutes to an hour to basically, um, you know, the duck is cooked to where you like it. I, I like cooking a duck a little bit further than other people. Um, so, you know, this is how you would do it in a home oven. Here at the rib room, I have a French rotisserie. So, I'm gonna take this duck, I'm gonna put it on a spit. Okay, and I'm going to open up the doors of my beautiful rotisserie, which you can see I've already had some chickens roasting for dinner for lunch service today. Alright, 
This duck is going to cook on this rotisserie. The temperature inside this rotisserie is going to get close to 450 degrees. It's going to cook on this rotisserie for probably a good hour and 15 minutes. And then we'll pull it off the rotisserie, we'll let it rest before we decide to go carving with it. To carve it up to put it for a plate presentation. Alright, our next step is to start the red cabbage. Alright, I have a, a cast iron pot that's been heated. Alright, and I'm going to start rendering out some bacon. What we have here is just a, a head of of regular grocery store style red cabbage, purple cabbage, however you want to call it. All right, and all I'm going to do is, is cut it up. All right, nice little strips. Basically, I have taken the core out of it. All right, just to get that piece out, and then we're just slicing in nice little ribbons. All right, our bacon is rendering, coming out nicely. All right, we're gonna add some diced up onions. And then we're going to add some apple that I'm gonna peel, take the core out, and I'm gonna dice. Well, the beauty of this dish is it's, uh, the red cabbage is kind of like this beautiful sweet and sour dish. You know, you're adding vinegar into the red cabbage and then you're adding sugar into the red cabbage. And it's such an accompaniment to the duck. Come on, man, what, what more do you want in food for the holidays? You got bacon, you got onions, you got a lot of flavor going on, you know, it's all working out well. All right, that's looking good. All we're trying to do is to sweat this out. We're trying to get the, the fat of the bacon to be released and kind of permeate the flavor of those onions and then we're going to stew down everything else together with it as in the cabbage and the apples. So it's where we want it to be. All right, there goes my apples. All right, and then we're gonna just go ahead, we can go ahead and add our red cabbage now. I use two kind of liquids in a red cabbage. I have a duck stock or a chicken broth or whatever you have at home. The canned chicken broth works just as fine as duck stock does. Okay, and then apple juice. All right, to keep on with the festive holiday flavoring here, we have a bunch of different little spices, which I have bay leaf, I have cinnamon sticks, I have star anise, I have cardamom pods, and I have cloves, and then I have a little bit of ground allspice. All right, we're gonna add all this in a little cheese pot bag, and we're gonna make a little sachet out of it. This is going to give your red cabbage a very unique flavoring. Okay, we're gonna tie it up in a little, uh, little piece of string so that we can easily pull it out of the pot when we finish cooking it. Okay, and that's sitting there ready. Notice the cabbage now is gonna start kind of melting into the pot. And everything's gonna start sweating down like cabbage will. All right, as soon as it starts, the juice starts rising to the top a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add some sugar. Salt and pepper. vinegar and then our sachet or our little cheese cloth bundle. We're going to put a cover on this. We're going to let this cook. The other item is when you debone your duck or prep your duck to get ready to go, you have the wing attached and the neck and the inside of it. This is a wonderful item to make your sauce for the duck. And all you really got to do is, is kind of lay it on a tray, start roasting off a little bit. Now our ducks are spinning beautiful. This is one that I put on earlier, all right, that I'm going to take off. 
just like um, roasting any kind of beef, poultry is the same principle. You know, you want to roast your poultry, you want to take it off the heat, and you want to let it rest. You want to let it rest a good 15, 20 minutes before you carve it. Um, the purposes are with that is, you know, uh, with this being a primary restaurant that features roasted beef and roasted poultry and different things like that, anything that has been roasted is almost like it has been running a marathon. So it's, it's working hard, it, it's moving around, it's being spun, it's being cooked in the oven, it, it's doing all kinds of things. You gotta let those juices and that energy kinda, kinda calm down a little bit before you decide you wanna carve this piece of meat off. So, you know, that's the principle, you know. So I took the duck that we pre-cooked earlier, I put it on a, um, on a rack and let it kinda cool off a little bit, and we're gonna, um, we're gonna let, let that thing relax a little bit and then we're gonna carve it out. So the cabbage is gonna cook now, uh, it's going to cook for at least 45 minutes. We want to bring all that liquid out. We want to have the sugar that's going to help in the, as a thickening agent. As it brings it down, it's going to kind of make its own little saucy goodness underneath it. Um, and, you know, away we Continue go. Continue on now. We're going to start making our, our sauce for the duck, which we have the, um, the duck uh, necks and the wings roasting underneath the uh, roller over here. You get a little color on them. I got a little celery. Carrot, and a little onion, okay, we're going to sweat this down real quick with a little oil, with a little salt. pepper. All right, if we look at it and see, our duck pieces are nice and beautiful brown, so we're sweating down our vegetables to make the stock. And just to flavor the stock off, I have some already made beautiful brown chicken stock. That's going to add us, you know, our background flavor with the duck pieces as we go. All right. And then we add our chicken stock. A little thyme, a little rosemary. All right, and we're gonna cook this, this stock for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to reduce us in flavor, concentrates in thickness, and it's gonna be our natural sauce to go on top the, the duck as we plate it up. All right, we can take a look at our cabbage now, and we can see it is now, you know, coming down beautifully. All we really want to do now is reduce down our, our juice out of the cabbage, like I was saying, to kind of make it, you know, bind the cabbage up, to give it some body, to give it some, uh, some, some flavor from reduction, and we're on our way. This is such an easy, entertaining item, you know, I mean, the cabbage can be started early in the dawn of the day, it can be cooked, it can be ready to go. Your ducks, you know, you walk in and you're, uh, your, uh, you know, your friends and your family are there. You know, you can have your ducks starting to be prepped as they walk in. You put them in the oven. You know, the ducks are going to start cooking while you're having a glass of wine, maybe nibbling on some cheese and some pate. You know, and and you know, having a good time. Your ducks start smelling up your house. It starts being a beautiful experience. You know, you debone your ducks off, and you know, you're having dinner. You know, and it's a great thing. You know, this duck. You know. Uh, uh, couple of interesting things, you know, me and the maitre d' was eating it the other night and we opened up a bottle of, of, of Riesling and had Riesling with this duck and what a great pairing this was before us. I mean, we were really, really impressed of how the Riesling held up to the duck and the cabbage. It was really an amazing, uh, an amazing dinner that me and, had, me and them had one night sitting in the dining room after service one night. Pretty impressive. Our ducks are still roasting. You know, you can see it's getting beautiful color. You know, um, our chickens, which have went on probably about an hour and 30 minutes ago, are about to come down for lunch service. You know, these, these chickens are served for lunch in the rib room two different ways. You can have a, a half a roasted a chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy, or you can have it, which is an old classic dish on this menu, which is called moss salad. It is uh, regular field greens, um, boiled eggs, chopped up almonds, capers, tomatoes, vinaigrette dressing, 
we debone the chicken, we chop it up roughly, and we put it on top of, as a salad, and it's one of our leading sellers on our rib room lunch menu. Very impressive dish. It's called Moss Salad. So if anybody's interested in coming and trying it through now for the holiday season, it is on our menu every day. It never goes away. Our cabbage is cooking. Our duck is working. Our sauce is working. We can come over here and check the, uh, the cabbage out. And as you, as you can see now, all the liquid has reduced down. The cabbage has got a little bit of body to it from the reduction, from the sugar, from the vinegar, from you know the long process of cooking that we've done. You can see that the onions, the bacon, everything has has married into the dish completely. All right, so we're gonna you know take our little little bag of herbs and spices out. All right, and then we're gonna go and start deboning our duck. Here's the string. Right, spread his legs open. Right, what I like to do is go right down, breastbone right there, okay? And then angle my knife in and follow it all the way to the leg. And do a clean cut through his leg, all right? And then I'm just gonna follow his, uh, his brush structure. Bring it all the way around. There's that deep bone duck. All right, we're gonna plate this dish up. All right, nice little pretty ring bowl. All right, you know you have all that beautiful juice of the cabbage coming around off the plate here. All right, we're gonna crisscross the duck right on top. <laughs> And then there's our duck stock or our duck dimmy. After it's been cooking a good hour, you see it's got some nice body to it. You know, what we can do is just strain all the, all the vegetable, all the uh, wing and, and, and neck meat out. But, you know, for right now, all you really want to do is take a little bit of it, go on top of your duck. Okay. And there you have it, spit roasted duck braised red cabbage from the Rib Room at the Omni Orleans Hotel. Happy holidays, everybody.